On starting them young on semiconductors, Taiwan finding novel ways for students to spend their summers, clad in white lab coats, masks and learning how to make microchips. A summer camp designed to spike children's interest in Taiwan's most important industry, semiconductors. From etching to lithography, the international summer camp allows some 80 students to see every step up close. 16-year-old Nicholas Trey from Singapore was one of them. I'd say a lot of these just tech companies are interesting to me because I myself really enjoy playing video games. So I'm really just always using these uh, semiconductor uh, products. And so to me, most of these companies are really interesting. Companies and universities in Taiwan have been holding such events amid growing demand around the world. The camp has been held by Synopsis since 2023, but only hosted them in Mandarin until recently. Now they're holding the events in English as well. The industry which powers most of the globe's electronics and AI service is threatened by a rise in job vacancies due to the island's declining birth rate. Yearly births fell by 35% in the 10 years from 2014 to 2024. Many hope students will be motivated to work with the semiconductors in the future, like Caroline Trey. I think it's a pretty unique experience to gain some knowledge on the semiconductor industry. And being Taiwanese, I think it's pretty important to have that knowledge because semiconductor is such a huge part in the Taiwanese economy. And um, I'm thinking of pursuing a major in software engineering and economy in university next year. So I think it was a pretty good introduction to the field I'd like to go in. Taiwan plays an important role in the chip industry, with the native company TSMC being the world's largest contract chip maker. Any decline in the industry's dominance casts a shadow over Taiwan's existence. With threats of invasion from Beijing, Taiwan's global significance comes from chip giants like TSMC. But chip companies and experts have warned of the increasing difficulty in recruiting local talent. There's an urgent need. According to a local human resources firm, job openings in the sector rose to 33,725 in the second quarter of this year an indication of the shortage of highly skilled professionals.